Let's get you out the door on this Tuesday, seeing abundant sunshine out there, some puffy cumulus clouds as well, and temperatures on the warm side, topping out in the upper 80s and low 90s. Stewart, nice start to the day, plenty of sunshine out there, and up towards Jensen Beach, your temperatures running in the upper 80s. We have a couple of showers popping up on the radar right around the acreage, and a few more showers sitting offshore. This rain tracking towards a coastline, so on this track could be in Palm Beach Garden around 1230 Stewart for you around the same time frame. So a few isolated showers near the coastline at least until about maybe one, two o'clock or so. And then we'll see a few showers and storms develop along the sea breeze. Most of the rainfall, though, pushing inland later in the day. And then we dry out overnight with partly cloudy skies. And it's a similar setup for Wednesday and Thursday. A few passing showers with the bulk of the activity moving inland after about 3 p.m. And we'll also see our wave heights on the increase starting tomorrow night. Rough beach and boating conditions all the way through the weekend. So Friday through the weekend, high waves and even the chance for scattered showers and storms as a front approaches the state. This front will stall out, though. So while it won't really impact our temperatures, it will increase that moisture in the atmosphere. And as a result, our rain chances will start to go up. So today, tomorrow and Thursday, about a 30 percent chance for a few showers and maybe a couple of storms, mainly inland, and then scattered showers and storms back to the forecast starting Friday. Here's a look at Hurricane Lee. The buoys picking up around a 25 foot wave height right around the center of that storm. And for us here, we'll see wave heights on the increase. Friday, Saturday and Sunday for our Palm Beach County beaches, wave heights running around three to six feet. And then for the Treasure Coast, those wave heights getting even higher, especially Friday through the weekend, upwards around six to 10 foot waves possible. The potential for beach erosion as well and a high threat for rip currents. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Highs in the upper 80s to low 90s over the next seven days.